It's Friday, May 8th, 2020, and you know what that means. It's time for Work Up Zero Hour. Let's get that milk. Mm. Chocolate. It's the best. <laughs> On Fridays, you know we really like to get in there and do an interview with one of the staff members of H.J. McDonald Middle School. And today, we have a legend. We have a man of mystery. We have Assistant Principal Mike Swain. Get ready for this, y'all. Hey, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us this Friday. Uh, today, I got Assistant Principal Mike Swain with us. What's going on, Mike? Hey, Mr. Allsbrook. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Doing good. Glad it's Friday. Um, let's start off by you telling us a little bit about yourself, maybe some stuff that the students don't know about you. All right. Um, so I'm um, here uh, from New Bern, North Carolina. I was a student at HJ uh, many years ago. Um, I'm proud to be a War Cub again. Um, this is year 20 as an educator. I taught uh, middle school. I taught at West Craven High School for 15 years before coming over uh, to be assistant principal at HJ. Um, I've coached uh, basketball, tennis, soccer. I love sports. Uh, I like uh, fishing when I get an opportunity. Um, I've got three kids. One's uh, NC State Wolfpack and a uh, couple, uh, my, my other two are twins and they're going to be freshmen in high school next year. And they, uh, they do lots of different activities, sports and plays and that sort of thing. So most of my time is spent with them and taking them to and from all their activities. Have a lovely wife that's also an educator. So, um, yeah, uh, living my best life. Awesome, man. Awesome. So one of the things that, uh, you know, we kind of joke around and talk about um, away from the kids is you actually enjoy martial arts, right? Yeah, I, I did that um, when I was a teenager and into college and, uh, you know, don't practice as much as I used to and not in the shape that I, I once was. But, uh, yeah, I do enjoy it and love martial arts movies, too. Awesome. So every week we do something called the gauntlet where I just ask you a bunch of questions, kind of rapid fire, and you give me the first answer that comes to mind. Okay. And I a lot of these are actually geared toward martial arts, two movies, so... It's interesting okay. to see what your opinion on that's going to be. Are you ready to enter the gauntlet? Let's go for it. Okay, here we go. First question. Favorite martial arts movie? Enter the Dragon. Bruce yeah, Lee. Okay, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, two, what is faster, the legs of a cheetah or the fists of Bruce Lee? That's a tough one. Cheetahs are pretty fast, but uh, I don't know if there's anything faster than Bruce Lee's fist. <laughs> okay who would win in a staring contest between a cyborg with no eyelids and steven seagal mm. steven seagal 25 years ago probably would win now i'd have to give it to the cyborg that's fair that's a fair statement uh yeah. what is one martial arts style that you think is completely bogus um i would Hmm. I don't want to be uh, offensive uh, because it's really <laughs> it's really based more on the the, the practitioner, you know. Um, yeah. But uh, I don't know. You, you see sometimes uh, in in all the different styles, like kids that are like seven or eight years old that are, are like third degree black belts. I mean, there, there's just there's no way that uh, a kid that young is you know advancing to that level of proficiency and maturity. Um, so I, I, I think some of these, whether it's karate or taekwondo or anything where you see these young kids that are, you know, quote unquote, like masters of martial arts before they're even 10 years old. So that, that's, that's how I answer that one. Okay. Uh, do you ever wake up and think, man, I could have been in martial arts movies? Uh, this, d despite my uh, athletic prowess and ruggedly good looks, no, I, I never really saw myself in a martial, uh, martial arts movie. I, I could see it. I could see it. Uh, what's been the best thing for you about working from home? Um, being able to spend time with my family and, and also uh, kind of see my own kids uh, and how they um, attack schoolwork and 
you know, interact with their teachers and students, even other students, even though it's through Zoom, you know, it's um, just kind of interesting to have a perspective that I don't normally get because I'm at work and they're at school. Definitely. Definitely. What's, the, what's been the worst thing about it? Worst thing is, is not seeing uh, our students here at HJ and my coworkers and just being in that environment to interact with them. Um, I'm more limited from home and as to what I'm involved with, because, you know, I'm usually doing bus stuff, um, safety stuff, you know, discipline, which sometimes is not all bad. Sometimes discipline is a good conversation with the kid and trying to get to the root of issues going on in their lives. And I miss all of that. Yeah, definitely. We, we're all missing our students for sure. Um, right. If animals could talk, what animal would be the rudest? What animal would be the rudest? Um, probably a ferret. I don't like ferrets. I had a bad experience with a ferret. They're nasty. Um, no offense to anybody that might watch this that has ferrets, but they're not for me. Um, I fell asleep on a friend's couch one time and uh, woke up with a ferret standing on my chest, making hissing sounds at me. So yeah, I didn't appreciate it. <laughs> Okay. Oh man. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Um, by strict definition, I, I could understand the argument, but I don't think that 99% of the people consider it a sandwich. A sandwich is more of loaf bread or maybe sub roll or something like that. A, a hot dog kind of is in a category by itself. I happen to love hot dogs. Um, I am of the camp that you don't put ketchup on a hot dog. Mm -hmm. I'm more of a straight mustard chili type guy. Um, but I do not personally consider it a sandwich. No. Okay. Okay. Cake or pie? Pie. Ooh, I did not expect that one. Okay. And for our final question, we don't normally do this, but let's get a little political. Okay. okay. In the upcoming election, Chuck Norris decides to run for president and no one is w willing to run against a man who can swim through land. But Hollywood scientists have secretly cloned Bruce Lee 40 years ago. Bruce 2.0 decides to challenge Chuck Norris by running for, against him in, for office. Who would you vote for? Uh, well, as even though I'm a huge Bruce Lee fan and greatly respect what he brought to the martial arts world i think when you look at the overall person with experience i have to go with chuck norris i mean let's he was a texas ranger that's true i mean yeah i mean all of that law enforcement background um and just that uh great american pride he he seems to have i, I think i'd have to go with chuck norris that's true and he sells a lot of workout equipment you know yes, yes he does Yes, he does. <laughs> so you heard it first here, y'all. Chuck Norris for president. That's what, that's, what, that's what we're saying. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for coming on the show. Uh, thanks for bringing all your martial arts stuff on here as well. It's always fun. Uh, Ferret story was great. <laughs> I did not expect <laughs> that, so appreciate it. Um, so we send off everyone with a motto every once in a while. Well, not every once in a while. Every single show, every interview, we like to send them off with our motto. Would you like to send them off with the motto today? All right, I hope I don't say it wrong. Is that uh, get some milk? Get that milk. Get that milk. Get that milk. That's right. Go get that squad. milk. All right. Thanks, Thank you, Mr. Allsbrook. All right. Get that milk. <laughs>